Hey guys, me host Supersonic. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got! It's Lando Calrissian and his Skiff Guard outfit. This was one of the ones that was kind of really like we were expecting, we were really excited for. And it took ages to get here. Apparently a lot of the stockers online uh, were using UK stock for this one rather than the uh, overseas stock. So we've waited a long time in the UK to grab these. But we've got the Skiff Guard and of course we've also got Rio Durant as well to review. Uh, we're going to do Skiff. Uh, the Lando in this video and if you want to see Rio Durant let us know in the comments below because I know it's a bit, pretty belated review at this point as a lot of people have put their reviews online but hopefully you want to hear my review and hopefully you want to see what I have a, what, you know, what I think about the figure so let us know about that in the comments okay guys let's take a look at Lando so this is Lando number 76 in the Star Wars Black Series line and I did get this from one of uh, from the good people online as you guys know I always get my stuff from in demand toys check them out link in the description awesome figure so this is the skiff guard once a smooth talking smuggler Lando Calrissian changed from a get rich quick schemer to a selfless leader in a fight against the empire when his old friend Han was held captive in the palace of Jabba the Hutt Lando joined Princess Leia in a mission to rescue him from certain demise awesome so let's take a look at him out of the packaging. So let's break him out of his plastic prison. Okay. There's the hut. There's the weapon. God, that was well stuck in there. <laughs> that did not want to come out. All right, here we are. Oh my God, that looks so much like him. It's scary. Oh, just activating the hinges there a little bit. Okay. That hinge foot one up. There we go. Okay. So here he is, guys, out of the packaging, looking awesome. Look how awesome that face sculpt is, guys. Oh my, that looks like Billy D. Williams so much. Is it on the traditional, can we pull that off as well to put on other figures? Not sure about that, actually. I don't want to break it. I'm hoping we can take that head, the head sculpt off this one and use that on the old Lando. So we can have you know this new face sculpt on the traditional looking Lando. We'll see. But guys, he looks awesome. I'm really liking this figure. He just looks superb. Um, Articulation-wise, the head is on a ball joint, so you can rotate it up and down as well as left and right. And it does sort of rock back and forth as well. Arms do lift up. These are separate pieces, but they're made of a soft vinyl. So these just go over the top of the shoulder, so there's no scuffing. The arms do rotate at the top hinge there, as much as this piece will allow anyway. There's also a break, though, at the elbow, which also bends as well as the hands on a ball joint. There is an upper diaphragm as well, so we can rotate that around, which is nice. And there's also a further break at the waist, I believe. Oh, maybe not. No, there's no break at the waist, it's just that diaphragm. The legs do lift out pretty wide, as well as forwards and backwards with a top thigh cut. There's also a double hinge knee here, and there is rotation at the foot, but no boot, uh, no um, top boot articulation or anything like that. His hand does have um, the blaster hand going on, but it doesn't come with a blaster with this particular model. He does come with the weapon uh, that he uses during his disguise. So I'm just going to try and pop that in the hand there. Okay, like so. So you kind of have that in his hand. Them el these new elbow joints, I can't get used to them. They just don't feel very secure to me. I hate them. I feel like they're going to break. And he comes with a soft vinyl version of the helmet as well that he wears. So we can pop that on him. Like that. Looks alright. <clears throat> it's a nice figure. But what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below. I'm hoping, obviously, now that we've got these new figures with the new face sculpts, I'm hoping that they basically redo Boosh Leia and give her the new face sculpt for Carrie Fisher. And then we can have a more carry looking bouche layer that would be awesome 
But guys, I'm going to go to the desk cam to give you guys an up-close personal look at this figure. So I'm going to go to the desk cam. Alright guys, here is Lando out of the packaging. Looking pretty sick. Loving this figure. It just looks so nice. It's very well designed. I'm loving that new face sculpt. I will take the helmet off um, in a second. We're just showing him in the full regalia for now. Loving the armor design and how they've uh, crafted it to look just like the character from the movie. And um, the armor pieces on the front on the on the shoulders. I like the fact that they're separate and are made of, ooh, of a soft vinyl, so we can they they do they don't you know they're not all just stuck together and these do move. Um, so when you rotate his arm up, it just slides over the top of the hinge rather than scuffing. So I like that. Um, wish there was a further waist articulation though, but we do have the diaphragm waist the articulation. But it's just a shame we don't have the uh, the waist articulation on this one um, to rotate him a little bit more. The weapon as well, it does fit in his hand rather nicely. And like I said, it does come with a blaster hand, even though it doesn't come with the blaster. So you could put a gun in his hand if you wanted. And then of course he's got his boots there. And lots of articulation in the lower part. So all in all, it's a great figure. What do you think, guys? Are you a fan of this figure? Are you a fan of the Return of the Jedi? Let us know in the comments down below. But let me take his helmet off so you can have a look at that face sculpt again. So here he is again, guys, without that helmet on so you can get a bit more of an up-close look. Look how much that looks like Billy Dee Williams. That is scary likeness. I am loving that. The, fa the facial recognition is just crazy. Right down to even the hair and stuff. It looks just like him. I'm loving these new 3D scans. They just they look so good. Obviously, DC DC have started to use these sculpts now as well, and I think Marvel are starting as well. So, basic figures and collect and collectors figures like these are going to get real good real fast. They're going to start looking like the people, which is amazing. Loving this sculpt, though. But what do you guys think? Is this a figure you're going to be picking up for your collection? Have you already got one? What is your thoughts? As well, um, does that head pop off? Because I don't want to destroy my figure, but I know someone out there probably has already tried. I can't see if that would break off very easily. Like I said, I would like to put it on the uh, other Lando body that we got um, a while back and a few waves back. It would be nice to put that head on that way, on that body. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments down below. Let's get some other figures in here, though, just to compare size. Sorry, my hands are shaking like crazy today. Okay, so there he is at the side of Princess Leia. And this is the Leia that we got from the two-pack. Same with the Han. He's also from the two-pack. Uh, there we got... Oh, there was a Comic-Con exclusive. We managed to get one of those, which is awesome. And then, of course, there's Chewie with them as well. So scaling-wise, I think they scale pretty well. That Han, for some reason, is just huge. Don't know why they made that Han so tall. <laughs> I don't think there's that, that much of a height difference between Billy D. Williams and Han Solo, is there? But guys, what are your thoughts in the comments down below? Let us know. Like I said, love hearing back from you guys and what you guys think about this figure range. I have not done a Black Series figure in quite a while, so it's it's good to be back on Star Wars. Looking forward to Episode 9. We're going to start getting a lot more stuff next year as well with the Vintage Waves coming back and the um, Archive Series. Looking forward to all of that. We've got some great ones next year coming up. So, I will be doing Star Wars. I know, I know it's been very sparse on the channel for quite a while. It's just because the Marvel stuff was so good last year, over this past year or so, that I've just had to get it. And um, Star Wars weren't pumping out as much merchandise as they usually do for some reason. Not in the Black Series range, anyway. But I will be doing my top five picks of action figures that were my favourites for 2018. I might even do a top ten. So let us know if Lando and that face sculpt should be in the top 10 of the year. And what figures do you think are going to be in the top 10? Let us know in the comments. Guys, let, well, let's go back to the main cam and finish off this video. So guys, I want to thank you all for tuning into this review. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said at the beginning of the video, please check out the Rio Durant. Um, sorry, if you want to see Rio Durant, let us know um, in the comments. Uh, it's a figure that I think is going to it's going to divide a lot of people. It's a nice figure, but a lot of people are still on the, sh on the uh, fence about the solo movie. And uh, I'm not sure if people want to see that Rio Durant figure review this late, but let us know in the comments anyway. I'd love hearing back from you guys, and thank you very much for watching. 
And guys, if you're new around here, smash that subscribe button. We've got a lot of content coming up that you're not going to want to miss out. This next week is Christmas week coming up. Getting excited. During that week, you're going to get Holiday Harley, uh, as well as a bunch of Nightmare Before Christmas Diamond Select figures, um, as well as your regular reviews. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of content coming out. And then the week after, so after Boxing Day, I'm going to start doing the countdowns of the new year with my top 10 action figures of 2018, my top 5 worst action figures of 2018, top 5 Marvel, top 5 DC, top 5 Star Wars. So, a lot of content coming out real soon that you're not going to want to miss, therefore smash that subscribe button. Also, guys, smashing that notification bell does let YouTube know that you want to see my content and will let you know when I go live and also when I upload a new video so you won't miss out. We've got a giveaway coming up at 20,000 followers, so make sure you are subscribed to be in for a chance of winning. I think that's everything. Thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm your host, Super Sorrel. May the Force be with you. Bye!